the old time preacher preach without one reference to the Greek. This precious old book within my hand is God's own word on which I stand. And then all the scholars came along and said the preacher had it wrong. Problems here, recessions there, and scribal errors everywhere. It's a book essentially correct, but not in every last respect. A fairly certain word, they say, to light our path and guide our way. Then in despair, I bowed my head. We have no word of God, I said. If some of this old book is wrong, pray tell. What else does not belong? Will still more manuscripts be found to make us go another round? Will they keep correcting, changing, and taking out, creating questions, fear, and doubt? Must more discoveries come to light before we finally get it right? Will precious doctrines fade away because of what the scholars say? How many errors must we purge because of what the scholars urge? How many versions must we make? How many changes can we take? How will we ever know we're through that we possess the scriptures true? If a man must find God's word, my friend, when will the changes ever end? Then to the book again I fled to find out what my father said. Forever settled, never fade, this promise God the Spirit made. A thousand generations from hence, that seems a pretty strong defense. A perfect book, then it must be. Man can improve what God gave me. We have a book completely true, instructing us in all we do. Preserved by God, not found by men. Inscribed by God the Spirit's people. If between God and scholars you must choose, be sure the scholars always lose. Don't give them a second look. Just keep believing the old book this morning. Thank God for the old.